Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Sokka here, and welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 2 for Absolute Beginners. And when we last left off, uh, it was an action-packed episode. Our vassals de decided to declare war on one another. Uh, then we went to war with England, and things were looking good. We were pressing our claim on Gwent, when all of a sudden we died. Uh, we were reborn as King Rua of Ireland, and that's when the truce was broken with Scotland, and Scotland decided to immediately press their claim on Clydesdale. So that is where we sit now. Uh, right before I ended the episode, we raised up a small band of uh, mercenaries, and there we'll be marching uh, here to Oriel. We will probably sweep up, smash the Scottish forces, and then hold what we got down here in England. Looking at our alerts, we are going to lose Wales and Brittany and a few counties when we die. Speaking of which, our heir is, so far, Tannis Le Le Ladine? Nadine, who isn't bad. He's nice and young, which will give us a long reign bonus if he lives another 20 to 30 years. That would be cool. And his martial skill is really, really good. So that can help us advance our lands. However, uh, if we were to lose the Kingdom of Wales, that might be a bad thing. Um, we can still hold Ireland and we can still go up and swoop Scotland. Unfortunately, um, we can get an ally out of Wales, but we won't control that land directly. And then if that king decides to press into England, that may make our attempt at the Empire Britannia a little bit more difficult. But it looks as if uh, he is going to win the vote. Uh, we're not really voting yet, but if we were to vote for somebody, I believe it would be this guy with the higher martial skill. He would then be the liege of Duke Brian, our nephew. Might not be bad. Uh, so let's go ahead and nominate uh, Ladine to sort of seal that deal. It's not a bad guy. I don't know why everyone is voting for him, but I mean, it's not a bad deal to vote for him. We can righteous imprison this duke, but he likes us, so we're not going to do that. We can righteous imprison this duke, but he likes us, so we're not going to do that. Vassal levies are raised too long as per usual. We are pressing our claim on Gwent as we speak, so that isn't necessary. So let's make sure that we are at a, a sane speed to play, and let's go ahead and play. We're sieging down Gwent, which is the war goal. We should get ticking war score for it. It's the last holding, and it's 6.7% every 12 days, compared to the 2.9% that these 1900 troops are making, so we can go up there and bop him uh, real quick, fast, and in a hurry. So 8,100 troops is trying to siege down Clydesdale. Once we merge up here with these 4,500 troops, we can make the straight crossing into Galway, and make our way north. According to this province, however, there is a river crossing between Galloway... I mean, there's four river crossings, but Lothway is... or Loth, Lothian is not a river crossing, so I think we've got some time uh, to march over here and then up through and then wheel around so we don't take that river crossing penalty. Anything we can do to sort of mitigate our losses here is good for us. Let's see, this holding should be sieged down pretty quickly. The 11,000 are marching in. All right, so our marshal has greased up um, Bishop Candlebane. Let's take a look at our religious vassals and make sure everyone likes us. Ooh, Falamon is kind of close. Where are you at, good sir, in Ossery? So let's send our religious vassal to Ossery, or our court chaplain. See if we can get him to like us just a little bit better. The 11,000 troops are marching around to uh, Lothian, and then down across, no river crossing, and we should be able to relieve this siege just fine. And in fact, they didn't bring any commanders to the fight, did they? So easily broken that, the siege goes away, and we just wreck the face of Scotland, that is for sure, and we even captured a mare. All right, so let's make short work of these guys. We'll crush them as little as we can, and then go probably split up the army, I would say, and make our way to multiple sieges. You're going to Fife. 
so we shall do that as well. How are things down here? So we've completely sieged down the war goal here. Let's go up and bop these troops over here. Wait, before we do that, are there any other commanders we can assign? Rotary and then Lieber. We'll put Lieber on the side. Give our, our guys a chance here. 4.5 victory there. These guys are still pretty potent. Are you English? No, you're Norwegian. Why are we fighting the Norwegians? Defending against King Wise in the Scottish War over Clydesdale. Interesting indeed. Oh, attacking King Bernard the Fat in the Irish Ducal War for the claim on Gwent. Let's see. What wars are you in? Oh, the de jure war. Okay, so it looks like a Norwegian is trying to press our claim in Clydesdale. I don't know how that's going to work for him, if I'm honest. Um, I didn't know that Norway was even a thing that we were fighting here. All right, Duke of, Ducal Opinion goes up. We were working on vassals here. 3.9 war score there. Okay, how are things here? All right, these guys are fighting. Let's go, let's slow the speed down. Oh, we're attacking the King of England directly there, it seems. Nice victories. We'll wipe out the English army there as best we can. So 900 troops down there. We're about to finish that off and this guy doesn't have enough troops to siege that down. All right, so you're going to Shrewsbury, we will follow. And then when this battle is over, we'll just swing down and smash the Norwegians. Where are you going, Lothian? Is he gonna make it there before us? He's still, all right, yeah, he, he decided to march on down. Chancellor of Lancaster of Northumbria has bribed and threatened, so more claims are being pressed. Can we get rid of the Northumbrian? No, we cannot. That is, they must love her to death. It's not gonna help them out though. Collected a tithe, excellent. We can afford to keep these, um, these mercenaries on tap for a bit. All right, so Duke Seward the Wise has pressed his claim against us. Only 32% plot power. That's not good. We don't have enough to siege that down? Interesting. Down to Worcester then. We're lacking 500 troops. We can swing down, I think, as long as we can afford it. We can uh, swing down and sort of help out these uh, English um, sieges a bit. Fascinating, 2,000 going to Lothian. So this is the whole of the Norwegian army, it seems like. Where are you going, good sir? There we go. Pick you off. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. We can siege this down. And I think we might as well. 700 troops are not going to do a whole lot, and we can get more war score here. 3.4% every 12 days, and that has been completely sieged down by us. Let's see, 1,500 troops. I think we'll just stay right there. We'll be nice and careful here. So we'll watch both, uh, both fronts here. I'd like for one of these wars to end. That way we can, uh, we can concentrate our, the whole brunt of our force on these guys. I don't think we're going to hop on a boat and head to Norway. It doesn't seem fruitful. And as long as we hold the war goal, um, you know, we're, we're, we'll be fine. Okay, that's fine. Smashy, smashy. We're still sieging down there. 6.8 war score. Where are you heading to? Straythern. I think now is the time I'm going to start breaking off some units uh, from this big army here and starting to siege some things down. As long as we don't drop below 2,000 troops in any army, we should be okay. All right, let's do that. 
Well, we split that unit in half. Let's not do that. Let's create a brand new unit. And we want about 3,000 in each group, I would say. Not a whole lot of, uh, of men in some of those units. 2,700. Go ahead and go up to Atoll. And then if we split this army in half and march to Lothian, we should be okay. So we'll start sort of carpet sieging uh, Scotland a bit. And with our biggest group, I think we should be... Nope, select you. <laughs> and go up to Fife, let's say. Matter of fact... Yeah, there we go. Let's continue on. 2,000 more troops have decided to land, which is fine. We can just swoop over and uh, reinforce some of these guys. 92% war score against England. We're continuing to siege this down at 3.4. These Norwegians are going to be a pain indeed. All right, so 4,000. I think I want to continue, while these guys are sieging these things down, I'll continue to really push against these, uh, these armies. Especially the ones... Oh, and then he decided to reinforce, but the center was already broken. That is not a good, uh, call there, good sir. Especially since this army has all of our commanders in it, our good commanders. 92 and 72. And I think he's already heading that way. If he is, then we can actually get to Buchan before... No, he was running away. Can we pick anybody off then? Just those 56. Nice. More war score in our favor, and you're going to Strathern. Probably all the way down into Clydesdale if I had to make an assumption. And he may be trying to gather with the Norwegian forces. Which is fine, we'll just uh, press right on through. As you watch birds darting nimbly through the air, you find yourself wondering why it is that man cannot do the same. There have been unsuccessful attempts to make flying contraptions in the past, but those designs were all conceived by fools. Building a machine that will fly will help improve your learning. And we are trying to improve our learning here, so yes, I am absolutely sure it can be done here in 1205, you know. 700 years before the first plane actually flew. Makes sense. We'll continue on. Should be nice and easy. We've got 800 Scottish forces coming down there. And no, you cannot siege down Clydesdale, which is a shame, good sir. It's a shame you didn't get here earlier. Um, you could have actually probably made a difference here. All right, in your quest to build the flying machine, we spend countless hours with dusty old tomes and parchments. You are finally at the point where we can get the prototype. This should be good. 1.5 war score there. We're still making some progress against England. And you're going back up to Strather, and well, we are going to bounce you back and forth. It'd be nice if our vassals finished their war out. That way we can put their units to good use. But I digress. Yeah, they pulled all their commanders out of this unit. It's uh, not going well for the Scots, it seems. Now, since Norway decided to press, I wonder if uh, we'll get any sort of reputation from him. The prototype is near completion, but it will be ill-advised to pilot the thing ourselves on the maiden flight. We know of some promising candidates. Let's see, Meldrick the local dung gatherer. Meldrick, you have a cunning plan. Instead of Baldrick. Oh, Black Adder, you were a great. You find a suitably steep cliff to launch the main flight of our machine. Meldrick hesitates, but after a combination of threats and cajoling, he agrees to be strapped to the contraption. Push him over the cliff and he tumbles. Meldrick? M Meldrick? 1.5 war score there. Meldrick is bruised and battered but alive. Our flying machine was a failure, and to make matters worse, another scholar has allegedly made his own functioning prototype. Just as you're about to surrender to despair, Meldrick gives you a toothless smile and says, I have a cunning plan. I will regret this, but let's hear it. Black Adder never listened to his cunning plans. 
I wonder how many people got the uh, the reference to Black Adder there. You 800 troops are not going to be able to do much of anything, good sir, unfortunately. And then we'll go ahead and start working on these sieges here. How he did it will remain a mystery, but Meldrick has managed to steal the flying machine. He gleefully brings it to the cliff and grins and vanishes. When you inform him he will be flying again, you send him over the cliff and spiraling deep before slamming into the ground. So it wasn't just my machine. I feel better now. Yes. All right, 2.3 more war score, and I believe that army is absolutely crushed. Despite our efforts, it seems the flight will have to be uncovered by future generations. But we did gain two learning. Outstanding. And I am learning that we are about done with this war. If we are, well, these wars is plural. Oh, no. We need some men. Um, break off. Let's see, we need 2,500 here. All right, we need to make a new unit, but we can't go below the Irish band. Yes, head down, head down here. Get that siege status continuing to go because I want this war with England done. How are we on money? 16 gold, so the Irish band isn't breaking the bank, which is uh, excellent and to be expected. Hopefully they can get down there quickly and we can continue our siege. 1,500 troops should put us over. Yes, indeedy. We only lack just a little bit. Their morale was full up. Dang it! I thought we could maintain our siege status. But that will have to wait. I think things will be okay, uh, at least with the Scottish War. Then we can bring uh, the rest of our troops down and really knock out the English uh, defenses here. 99% war score anyway, so the ticking war score may still be in our favor. Uh, once that hits 100, then we can dedicate all these troops to the Scottish front and end these wars and get out of here. There we go. England is busted. So Prince Arcade's opinion of King Rua changes by plus 50 for 240 months because we pressed the claim. And Eighth Barth Arcade becomes Earl Eighth Barth's new liege. All right, so the Ducal War is over against England. We don't need to siege that down. So let's go ahead and turn you guys right around. You head to Dunbar, and then you guys head up to Gowrie. As we siege down the rest of the Scottish holdings, this should not last long. We're at 91% there. Mer man, our son-in-law died after a period of illness. Well, sucks to be our son-in-law. Yeah, looks like Norway hasn't got the troops to really fight us. We have ticking war score in our favor because we hold Clydesdale, and we are not going to give it up anytime soon. All right, since this siege will not be successful, just join these guys up. Help their siege go. Wow, 3,400 troops. Impressive. Um, we need to relieve that siege quickly. All right, let's make a new unit, bring 400 troops to the fold, and you get over here um, to press that as quickly as you can, please. That is a massive amount of troops needed to siege this down. And only at 3.4% every 12 days. That is a massive, massive uh, pull we have to do there. But two counties are about to fall, Atoll and uh, Lothian. And once they do, I think this war will be over indeed. There's victory, 100%. You all are done. So King Edward loses 200 prestige. They pay us 484 gold, and we gain another 100 prestige for our war contributions. Outstanding. So we defended Clydesdale. Let's bring everybody back and get the army disbanded. And then let's hope that our vassals... Uh, in their war because it would be nice all right let's stand everybody down and now we are back ready to go we are no longer at war we're not doing a grand tournament one title can be usurped the kingdom of scotland we do know that but i do not believe we want to usurp the kingdom of scotland just yet as uh we don't want that to pass to anyone we want to keep that in our pocket vassal inheritance warning 
Okay, so someone is not going to inherit the Earl of Gwent. Be a shame if something were to happen to the Earl of Gwent here. If we do, we, we need to focus on this kid. 33%. So Gwent will pass from our hands, but I believe uh, in a perfect world, they will become sort of independent, and then we can just say, hey dude, you're a vassal now, aren't you? The titles might pass from our realm. It may. We'll work on that. One weak claim can be pressed for the Duchy of Northumberland. On behalf of Cedric and Osmond. Osmond's son. Where is the Duchy of Northumberland? Right there. Fascinating. So as long as these guys are alive, we can usurp the... Oh, truce breaker. 1215. So in 10 years, that is definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, we can go ahead and swipe all of that and get de jure ducal claims on Northumberland and really start pressing the English. Looking at our military, we're 2,000 troops shy. Let's look at the opinion of our uh, vassals here. And the vassal inheritance warning should tick down um, each day. That should be fine. We don't need to be fabricating claims. So who is our vassal that absolutely doesn't like us the most? So the Duke of Gwynedd, ruling in Ormond. Okay, we can do that. Uh, Ormond is right here. We shall... Oh, and you're already in Ormond. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, $1,046. Hello. An arranged marriage. Prince Jean of France and our daughter. Oh, yes, we will accept. So when that kicks off, my prisoner, the mayor, is complaining about his dark cell. Um, let's see. Ma mayor Wald gives under house arrest. We could probably just let him go. Let's take a look at our prisoners. See if there is anyone that we can release. Or ransom. So we've got a mirror here. Ransom for 25 gold. We can do that. Summerled. The Duchy of Gwynedd. I think if we let him go, I mean, he has claims on Buchan, Moray. He doesn't have any troops, though. And I think if he likes us, is he ambitious? No, he's zealous, charitable, humble, and kind. I don't think we can worry about him. There we go, plus 26. So we got another mayor complaining about. We'll be merciful for now. And can we ransom him off? Bishop. Can we ransom for 25 gold? Sure. We'll bank another 25 gold. What is going on here? The army of Munster. You are attacking Duke Connellan of Galway. Oh, we have lost our court chaplain. There's a 19, and he wants to be court chaplain. Hello, good sir. So there are definitely a few bishops we need to send gifts to. You're good. We'll send a gift to you, good sir. 33 gold. We need to send a gift to you. 22 gold to sway him. We need to send gold to you. 26 gold. Let's just make it rain. Send gifts to everybody, increase their opinion, and then we'll send our um, religious vassal or our court chaplain to uh, to Leinster. Then it is okay. Sweet. Off to Leinster you go. Outstanding. So we need to try to make a law. We need to pass some laws to where our vassals can no longer. Aha. Vassal titles can no longer pass outside the realm through inheritance. I think that should be really, really good. We don't need domain size. We need to make sure that nothing passes from our realm. Go ahead and vote for that, if you please. And I think everyone really likes us, so we should be getting uh, some votes here. 
And that will be good because we don't have to worry about uh, these guys uh, passing from our realm. Duke Bryan, we need to make sure that the Dukes really like us here and will vote for us, or at least for our, our, um, our law passing here. Let's go by rank. You like us, we can send a gift of 90 to you. Vote for me. We can send a gift of 27. Vote for me. Send a gift of 46. Vote for me. Send a gift to you. Vote for me. Send a gift. Vote for me. All right, so I believe that should be enough to influence those dukes to really vote for our um, high crown authority. There we go. So now we really have to pay attention to our vassals because the law will lower their opinion of us, I believe. So our, yes, Duke of Gwynedd, you need to go to Ormond, which we already are. Our girl needs to do some work, but I think that is going to do it for me in this episode. Ladies and gentlemen of Crusader Kings 2, we have fought back the war. We have no truces. I don't believe. Can we declare war on the King of England? We can. And we can press the claim on Northumberland. Now, you've got 10,000 troops, though. We may wait. I mean, these guys... I don't know what your limit is. What is your limit? Oh, you can raise up to 16,000 from vassals. Hmm, interesting. Do we press... Do we buy another set of mercenaries? Who are the lowest strength mercenaries we can hire? 3,600. So for 3,600 troops, I think we'll be able to do that. We can press the claim on the Duchy of Northumberland and really make a charge. Right now, we are sitting at, if we were to look at the de jure Empire Britannia, we have 41%... Eighty percent. So we're only halfway to pressing that. We need a lot of English land. And if we can take the duchy away from him, that is a lot of vassal levy he will not have. So I think we, that is our next move, as long as we don't die. <laughs> if we die and it all goes to crap, then that's, uh, that's a bad deal. But that's going to do it for me in this episode, ladies and gentlemen of Crusader Kings 2. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next Crusader Kings 2 video. Take care.